大家好 ，Welcome to Learn Mandarin Chinese in Five Minutes YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to differentiate the Chinese particles ma and n. Chinese learners, especially beginners, often get confused between these two particles because both are used to form questions. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Number one, yes or no question. A yes or no questions are questions where you can answer using 是不是对不对 etc. in Chinese. For questions like these, you use 吗 and not 呢 For example. 那是你的汉语老师吗？那是你的汉语老师吗？不是，他是我的数学老师。不是，他是我的数学老师。Let's take a look at another example. 你有看到小明吗？你有看到小明吗 ？You can say 没有 or 没看到。没有没看到。So for yes and no questions, as shown in the examples, we cannot use n. It is incorrect. Or wrong to say, 那是你的老师呢 or 你有看到小明呢 Number two, when using to form a pause in a sentence before proceeding. 你听说关于玛丽男友的事吗？你听说关于玛丽男友的事？吗？彼得吗？听说了，真是不敢相信他会是这样的人。彼得吗？听说了，真是不敢相信他会是这样的人。However, when using "ner" as a pause. It is generally used to describe two or more things, thus forming a contrast. 小丽喜欢吃咸的，彼得呢，他比较爱吃甜的。小丽喜欢吃咸的，彼得呢，他比较爱吃甜的。Number three. Used in a rhetorical question. Peter and Mary are not in a relationship. I think you don't even know. They are broken up. Everyone knows why they are upset with me. The sentence "Xiao Li and Xiao Ming are not in a relationship." For this sentence, "ma" is used because of "not." This is a fixed. Chinese sentence structure, 不是 something 吗 Other fixed phrase with 吗 are 还不还没能不不就是难道我都道歉了还不行吗？我都道歉了还不行。吗？这么晚了，你还没吃饭吗？这么晚了，你还没吃饭吗？彼得病了，我能不去看他吗？彼得病了，我能不去看他吗？这东西。
不就是个普通的球吗？这东西不就是个普通的球吗？彼得没来上课，难道他病了吗？彼得没来上课，难道他病了？吗？小丽和小明不是在拍拖吗 ？You can also change the question to become 小丽和小明在拍拖，不是吗 ？Number four, use at the end of a general declarative sentence to indicate a slight sense of exaggeration. 小明可聪明了，小。明可聪明呢。玛丽比彼得大好几岁呢。玛丽比彼得大好几岁呢。Number five used in sentence patterns indicating continuous action or state. 小明在忙着呢。小明在忙着呢。彼得来我家时，我正在看电视呢。彼得来我家时，我正在看电视呢。Take note that n e r is the only particle that can be used. In such sentence patterns, use at the end of a specific question. This form of sentence is somewhat like the how and the wh questions in English. Chinese words like 谁什么怎么多少 etc. are used. In this type of sentence, ne is used rather than ma. Ne can also be omitted. For example, 谁是小明呢？谁是小明呢？小明是什么时候去美国的呢？小明是什么时候去美国的呢？这菜怎么煮？才好吃呢，这菜怎么煮才好吃呢？今天来了多少人呢？今天来了多少人呢 ？The nur expresses curiosity and emphasizes the request for. Information. Of course, you can also omit. You can say, 今天来了多少人？这菜怎么煮才好吃？小明是什么时候去美国的？谁是小明 ？Number seven, use in sentence structure n plus n where n is noun. This form of sentence is actually an abbreviated version of specific questions using n. It usually appears in conversation. It is a way to ask about the whereabouts or status of the subject. For example, if someone is asking 钥匙呢 this question is an abbreviated version of 钥匙在哪里呢 or 钥匙在什么地方呢 ？Where are the keys? 小丽明天有考试。小明呢 ？This question is asking when 小明 will have his examination. So the longer version of this question can be 小明的考试是在什么时候呢 ？Number eight used in The middle or at the end of an alternative question. The sentence structure for this type of question is something 还是
something or n e r something 还是 something n e r The n e r however, can also be omitted. 小明想吃面，小李想吃饭。我们吃面还是饭呢？小明想吃面，小李想吃饭。我们吃面还是饭呢？这件衣服是棉做的呢，还是羊毛做的呢？这。件衣服是棉做的呢，还是羊毛做的呢 ？As you can see, although mar and n e r are both Chinese particles, they are different in the way they are used. They cannot be substituted. And you may ask why learn n e r when it can be omitted most of the time. Well, learning to utilize n e r proficiently can increase your ability to convey subtleties and also make the conversation sound more natural and expressive. That is all we have for you today. Let us know what you think about this video. Leave a comment, and we will get back to you asap. Thank you. 今天的视频就到此结束，谢谢大家。